Hello, and welcome back to another video. This problem, we're finding the derivative of h at 4, where h is for all of these different compositions of f and g, where we know the values of f and g and their derivatives at 4. So for a, h prime of 4 equals, we have no products or quotients of functions here. It's just constants and functions, so we don't have to worry about any product rule or anything like that. So it's just 3 f prime of 4 plus 8 g prime of 4. Plugging in here, we have 3 times, uh, where is it, 6 plus 8 times negative 3. This is 18 minus 24 is negative 6. For b, we do have a composition of functions, so we're going to have to use the product rule. So h prime of 4 equals the first times the derivative of the second, so f times the derivative of g, plus the second times the derivative of the first, so g times the derivative of f. Now we can plug in, because we know all of these, f of 4, 2, derivative of g, negative 3, plus g is 5, derivative of f is 6. So this is negative 6 plus 30 is 24. C, we have a fraction here, so we can use the quotient rule. So h prime of 4 equals the denominator times the, de the denominator, not the derivative of the denominator, the denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator all over the square of the denominator, right, where g is the denominator and f is the numerator. Again, this is just plugging in general product rule stuff. It's a little bit different because we're not plugging in functions where f of x is like 2x plus 4 or whatever. We're plugging in just writing in f of 4 because we know f of 4. Anyways, again, we're just plugging chug at this point. g of 4 is 5, f prime of 4 is 6, minus f of 4 is 2, g prime of 4 is negative 3, over g of 4 is 5, squared. So we get 30 minus 2 times minus 3 is positive 6 over 5 squared is 25. So here, move it over a little bit so it's not out of frame, we get 36 over 25. Last but certainly not least, we have d, where we have another fraction, a little bit more complicated this time, but not too bad. Again, when you're adding functions, you don't have to worry about product rules or anything like that. So the, we're going to take the denominator, so f of 4 plus g of 4, times the derivative of the numerator, minus the numerator, times the derivative of the denominator. And this is where the product rule does not come in. It's just f prime of 4 plus g prime of 4. This is over f of 4 plus g of 4 squared, which is the denominator squared. A little bit more complicated plugging in here, but it's still the same. All these are the same building blocks as we've had before. So f of 4 is 2 plus g of 4 is 5 times g prime of 4 is negative 3 minus g of 4 is 5. f prime of 4 is 6 and g prime of 4 is negative 3 over f of 4 is 2 plus g of 4 is 5 squared. Now we just solve for this, it will be all set. 2 plus 5 is 7 times negative 3, minus 5 times 6 minus 3 is 3, over 2 plus 5 is 7 squared. So we get negative 21 minus 15 over 49. Negative 21 minus 15 is negative 36 over 49, and that is your answer to D. So A, B, C, D, those are your answers. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.